Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'll be telling you about COGS, which will basically be very important in development of Discord bots. If you create a big Discord bot that has dozens of commands, goes into like hundreds of lines of code, you don't want to focus all the commands in one single file. For example, we have main.py, you do not want to have like um, music commands, you don't want to have moderation commands if they're mixed together, you want them to be spread apart. It increases the readability of your code. So, how do we do that? well we use cogs cogs are basically like classes that you import into the bot itself which let you to you know unload or load the classes on your whip so the first thing to actually create a cog we need to actually create our file so we're going to call this test.py doesn't really matter what you call it it can be anything with moderation fun music whatever but for now it's going to be test so then we're going to actually import all the libraries the next one libraries let's just do that real quick and then after that we actually going to create a class so to create a class in python it's basically straightforward it's just class and then the name of the class we're going to call it test open bracket commands dot cog so now we actually have created a class if for our cog we naturally have to initialize the class itself so to do this we just basically do create a function called do define and it's open bracket and then inside it we're gonna do self bot and then inside it we're gonna do self dot bot is equals to bot so now we actually have initialized the class and we can actually start creating commands in it. Uh, we're going to do a ping pong command once again just to basically show you how easy it is. So the first thing we got to be careful about is we do not use app.command anymore. Instead we use app.commands.command open bracket close bracket. And let's go same for the um, let's go same for the bot event instead of dot bot event. Now it is app commands dot cog dot listener open bracket close bracket for this one you actually need the brackets for it so from that point it's actually just the same as it is always it's just async define let's create like a phone command so this shouldn't take too long just for clarification you do need to put self now this we have to put self dot ctx self always goes before the context because you're in a class and you need to basically define self so now that i have created uh, just a random command for our class we actually not first have to import this cog into the main.py to do this it's once again very simple to do we just do define setup for and then we do commands dot for since we need a variable called bot and then afterwards it's as simple as add cog open bracket and then just the name of the class which for us is test open bracket and then bot to basically put this into here which lets us basically make commands so now we've basically done the file itself so we go back here we now have to actually import that file into our main file to do this we're going to create quickly create ourselves an array we're going to create an array because later on you're going to have multiple files so having an array of these files will be easier so for us it's going to be main not main it's going to be test we can actually go and create ourselves a main loop so if underscore underscore name is equals to main create a for loop to loop through the extensions which should be straightforward extensions we're going to do bot.load extensions and then just ext in there so when the bot does launch it's going to look through here and add every extension that you have added so now if we're just going to look through the bot not loop just out the bot we should get a message bot is ready go back into here and now if we just do ping we're now going to get not get a command huh? so it's a bit stupid and actually named the pong but if we do pong there it is pong so as you can see you have created now a simple cog just a little tip if you do put different files into different folders just do dot and then the file name and then dot again to basically tell you what file it is but other than that this is how you basically sell cogs hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like subscribe and i'll see you next